that was intense. So we're at Universal today. I went to the island side and it hit capacity as soon as I got to like the front entrance. So they're like, Universal's not at capacity. So I booked it so fast that my watch thought I was going for an outdoor run and I made it in. <laughs> and now we're in a 50 minute wait to do the Born Stunt Spectacular because it's the only thing I can't. I have never seen one of these movies in my entire life, so I have no idea what is, uh, this is about, but it's new to me, so we're going to do it. So the stunt show wasn't that bad, it was kind of cool, like there's like helicopters and um, it's cold, so it's like perfect for if it's hot out, it's not hot out right now, and in my pocket I've been carrying around a sandwich with me from Publix, and it just got to that point where like the mayonnaise and cheese got melty and it's squishy like high school. 10 out of 10. This is Christmas week at Universal at capacity. It's a little wild. I went to check and see if I could do ET right now but the wait time is 195 minutes so we're not going to do that. So I think we'll just go over in Diagon Alley, play with my wand, because I brought that along with us. Just if we can even get in line for any spells. But we're gonna stay positive and happy, and we can just be happy we're alive right now, at this moment in time. It's kind of bizarre because Flight of Passage was only at 125 minute wait. So having ET be twice that, almost, it's just, it's wild. You just, it just gives you an idea of the volume of uh, capacity we have here. What is that supposed to be hanging out of this alien's mouth? Oh my goodness. What on earth? I just, I, I gotta get out of here. Look at it all decorated for Christmas. You can see like right there some Christmas. Right there some Christmas. It's just so happy in here. So we decided to stop in and get some butterbeer ice cream. The line was really, really long, but you know, we managed to make it and I think it's going to be worth it. There it is. Look at that. I've never come up in this little like stairway thing before, but it seems like the easiest place to eat this. Tastes like the whipped cream part of butterbeer, which was my favorite part. So, this is really good. I will destroy this. Look at that. Bunch of sea cucumbers out here. The best thing is the dragon diversion. I don't know if anyone knows what the dragon diversion is, but it's a special thing. Helps you get some ice creams. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. I did it! I did it! <laughs> All right, up next, we have the rain. <laughs> Woo! I did it! I am so proud of myself. Into the darkness. Luckily, I have a camera with really great low light, so what you guys are seeing, I do not see this in person. So that's great. There's a spell to do down here. Where is it? Right here. All right, our next spell is a very spooky one. It's the up and around. And look, okay, so the eye opened, and I just learned from these children. That was intense stuff. Okay, our next spell brings to us a bird. I have a lot of trouble with birds, so let's see. I did it, but what happens? Oh, okay, a candle's going, all right. The black flame candle is lit. The bird is not happy. Oh, he's growing his feet. Now what? All right. Woo! This store in here is definitely the coolest one. 
It's got like all of the dark things. Look at that baby doll. Skulls. A spiral staircase. Nothing says so scary like a block off spiral staircase with the skeleton of a chicken. I like this one and this one and I like 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 this one. There's a turkey locked in here. You can hear he's trying to get out, but the chances of him getting out of here early, very slim. But really, it's a very, very, very fun store. And even if you don't get anything like me, you just got to enjoy a moment of being in here. I have a couple things from in here, actually. Usually this one's really neat. It's not working right now. And the skeleton will follow your hand movements and your arm movements. Okay, next is the, uh, where is it? Oh. Okay. Okay, next. Look at him go. Look at him go. Okay, our next one is frog. Oh, look at that. There he goes. I've done it. Now, I am having a lot of fun, but it's just a tad bit teeny tiny. And I already knew this coming in here. A little bit crowded for my taste. But I already knew that, so I'm not complaining. Sounds like I am. Maybe I am a little. Look at these candies. They're called You Know Poo. They help you not go potty. And then you got jumping snakes and a dark, it's not focusing on it, but it's a dark mark lollipop. And then you've got these, these little chipmunks. See this little chipmunk? And then you've got nosebleed nougat, which is really good because I bleed a lot out of my nose. Then you got a nose biting teacup. It's a nose biting teacup. It's a, it's a, well, I guess it really is just a, oh, we're not going to open it. It's just a nose biting cup. And just when you thought you saw everything, duck on a bike. Duck on a bike. Over here in the museum's showcase, this is all the women that you know pooed. None of these people have ever pooed in their life. She's in trouble. I never looked up in here, but there's fireworks happening up there from the Weasleys. Fireworks things. I just found the best social distancing place in all of Universal right now. It's this random candy shop by where you can get the drinks at that Alcatraz place. There's no one even in here. It's a couple of chaches. It smells so good in here. I do feel raindrops happening. Diagon Alley was a lot of fun. I did a lot of spells. I did get to do eat a sandwich. Let's see what else we can do. I don't know if there's going to be much else we can do because our express pass doesn't start till four and I thought it's been like five hours by now and it's only been like an hour and a half. So